Hi and welcome to Empower TV. This is the channel for you who'd like to empower yourself and your company so you can get more happiness and success in business. And my name is Josephine Campbell, but Empower TV is basically about you. Today, Empower TV is about the future of leadership. And with me, I have author Kirsten Stendeval, who just published this book, The Future is Feminine. So Kirsten, how, how do you describe femininity? Is it, is it about men and women or what is the future of leadership is feminine? Yeah, it, it, is, uh, it needs to be explained because a lot of people think that I mean that the future is uh, for women. And I know that a lot of my American colleagues uh, have described how um, women are actually much more educated uh, today than men. We have 60% of our graduates uh, over the world, all over the world are, are women. We have a lot of uh, women who are really, really advanced in, in, in entrepreneurship and business. And that is great news because we need a lot of women in leadership and we need a lot of um, the feminine uh, way of thinking. But my book is not primarily about women. It, it's sort of a, a level uh, beyond the sexes. And it talks about how the 21st century is different from the 20th century in the sense that uh, what the qualities that are needed to create success in the new era are... Um, very feminine. It's about creativity, it's about collaboration, it's about thinking in terms of wholeness, it's about using your intuition, it's about embracing difference, it's about empathy, um, delivering good service. So there's a lot of the, 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 the qualities that are needed in the 21st century are feminine in their essence. And that does not mean that men don't have them, and that's what's so important to understand. So this, so, is, this is not like a lean-in book like Sheryl Sandberg. No, I mean, I think that the, the readers who love to share the Sandbox book will love this too because it gives a different perspective and maybe sets that uh, Sheryl Sandbox great, great work and necessary work into a much broader context. Uh, a lot of women who read my book, uh, they, they get this aha. Ah, that's why we've been frustrated. That's why, that's why things are like, there are so few, men, few women in leadership. Uh, that's what we could do to help that. Oh, that's how I could access my feminine power. And men get a lot of ahas too, because they're like, oh, now I understand my wife and my daughter and my co-workers. And now I understand that I don't uh, need to act in a stereotype masculine way. There's actually new masculinity waiting for me. Mm -hmm. So so it's it's a whole and it's it gives people a, a broader a picture, the big picture, and also a lot of practical um, examples of what they can do to uh, contribute and to align themselves with this new leadership that is happening. It is happening whether we want it or not. Uh, it's it's like you know the you can see the evolution as a big train, and some 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 the, the first part of the train is already in the future, and the latter part of the train is is still in the past. And if you want to move ahead and and be in the in in the uh, in the progressive uh, department of the train, uh, read the book, uh, start acting a little bit differently. Know that you have all the resources you need to create success in the new era and uh, just enjoy that, uh, that ride and contribute because we need everybody's contributing so they can go faster so we can actually get there before we cr crash the world uh, with our, with our one-sided ways. Mm. I'm going to post the link for Kristen's book below here and feel free to ask us comments here or give us a thumbs up or thumbs down. We'd love to hear what you think. Thank you for watching today. Thank you.